You're watching Let's Chat. And we told you a moment ago, it is UTC homecoming week and all around the campus things are getting fired up. Thanks in part to these two ladies. Let me introduce to you Carmen Chambers. Carmen is here in the middle and she is a sophomore. That's correct. Yes. And over here we have a junior and this young lady's name is Kennedy Brumlow. So ladies, good morning to you both. You are involved in the what committee? Homecoming committee. Homecoming committee. Mm -hmm. Was it you all who came up with the idea of Viva Mox Vegas. Yeah. I love that idea, by the way. <laughs> how, did you, uh, how did you land on that? We kind of just threw out all kind of ideas, and we took a, a vote on it. So right. like each student kind of had ideas, and we all were like strong on the Viva Mock one. We yeah. also allowed outside students, like students that are not on a homecoming committee, right. vote also. So we chose the top three that we liked as a committee, and then we posted those online and created a poll. And then the students that actually attend UTC mm -hmm. got to choose their favorite. What are some of the events that you all have planned out for the upcoming week, or should I say for the rest of the week? Um, we have an alumni mixer, and we'll have our official kickoff on Monday. Um, we also will be having a Vegas night kind of thing on next Thursday. Right. So you can dress up if you want, you know, just have fun, play some games. So what's involved in the Vegas Night Mixer? Or do I even want to ask? <laughs> of course I do. That's why I asked it. What's going to be going on that particular night? Um, we'll probably have a lot of, you know, Vegas games like, you know, card games and different things like that. We might even have a magician possibly. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. And it seems like the buzz around UTC's homecoming it's getting higher and higher with each passing year since Mark Wharton took over. This year in particular, and this week, it seems to have really ramped up. You're seeing signs for it everywhere. You're seeing a lot on TV about it, hearing a lot about it on the radio, and obviously seeing a lot about it in the newspaper, which I think is really, really cool. And one of the key elements that you all are doing is the annual day of service. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. That is actually her. She's um, the coordinator of that, so I will right. let her speak All right. that. Far away. Um, so this year we will be writing letters to veterans um, in observance of the Veterans Day coming up on November 11th. Um, we will also be making um, pillowcase dresses to donate to local hospitals and things of that sort. So this is something really exciting that happens every year at Homecoming. Um, they've done things kind of like preparing PPE um, kits last year, that, that's what we did. And you know, just different things, trash pickups in the community. So it's really exciting, something that everybody loves. It, um, a, on a more personal note, I know you all as being members of the Homecoming Committee have got a lot going on, but on a personal note, tell me what Homecoming means for you. Homecoming for me is just, I've always been a big school spirited person. I love being together as a community. I feel like homecoming is just that moment that we all have fun and come together as one. It's sure. like not just the, I also think like the rivalry of the game going against another school kind of pumps everyone up and gets everybody right. excited. Homecoming week is just the whole anticipation of the game. We're all excited. We have activities all throughout the week. It also gives us like a wind down, wound, wind down mm -hmm. from being in class and kind of burnt out from exams. Sure. And we all get that relaxation and community aspect together. So I'm very excited about it because I just love being together as a school. Kennedy, in a nutshell, tell me what it means to you on a personal level. Um, this being my junior year and I've kind of missed a few things since my freshman year due to COVID. Um, it's just really exciting to see everyone happy about this and looking forward to homecoming. Right. Um, we've had a break where, you know, not much was going on on campus and coming back this year and be able to be together and see sure. alumni and professors that we may not have seen in a few years. You know, it's just really exciting. Got it. And Ladies, our hats off to both of you for spearheading this committee and hopefully you'll have the biggest turnout ever for UTC <laughs> homecoming, not just the game, but for the entire week. You want to find out more about what's involved with homecoming, you can go to the website gomox.com, gomox.com. We're going to go into a quick break. We are back with more talking more about activities for the alums to take part in. Stay with us. We have more of Let's Chat next.